Welcome to the Sharon Zone, and this is the fan club version of the Sharon Zone. We are going to talk to one of my favorite people, my um, my fan, Laura Cole. How are you doing, Laura? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Um, so this specific podcast is for musicians. What I want to get out of this is for musicians to and bands and artists and stuff to understand more of the fans' perspective because I listen to and read and and learn a lot of things from people in the music industry. But I thought for the Sharon Zone and to kind of help out, you know, other musicians, artists, and myself, I want to hear exactly from hardcore music fans exactly what they like about the way artists, bands, singers um, present themselves and do social media and perform. And I want to hear exactly what turns fans off and what you don't like. So having said that, Laura, thank you for being on, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> um, <laughs> what would what what Exciting. would you what would you um what can we start with what what do you like about certain artists I mean I don't this doesn't need to be a love fest for me so um you can you can pick uh, other artists like say on social media what's what do you like about your artists that you love about their social media. One would be definitely their interaction with all of their fan with their fans because so many so many local ones that I know that if you do share their post or you do comment on something they're pretty quick on responding to you and it makes me want to check out more of what they're doing um, their music and things of that nature because they are. They are open, and they're open to even suggestions um, if you had an idea or something. Um, that's definitely definitely a bonus of social media is the easy access that you have to them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I like that. I actually, um, Get it. I actually just in the fan club, you probably saw, um, asked what songs – people want us to play for the Indian Ranch Brett Michaels show. Um, so I try to do stuff like that. And, and I really, I'm, take, mm-hmm. I'm taking the fans' advice. I'm looking at the most requested songs, and those are the ones that we're going to add to the to the set list. Um, so, so things mm-hmm. like that, like asking, you know, what – asking what your fans think and getting their input on things and then actually uh, implementing them and then – implementing those things and then like it's cool because then the fans n- not only feel like they're part of the process but they see that they're part of the process exactly exactly like um it was like because actually yeah and also not only you asking about like the set list it, you actually ask the fan club's opinion like hey what do you think for new shirt yeah something like that mm-hmm. it's nice knowing that you want the opinion of your fans and you seek it out um that's that's definitely one of why i keep following local artists that i do awesome um like exactly um it was funny because one time i was at the scoreboard in Ruburn, and it's a kind of strange place like for bands because i think you have to bring your own sound system there mm-hmm and what a really local band, the boys of Rockingham were there, and they had said that. They were like, so really, if it sounds weird, like, please let us know, like, right away. Mm-hmm. And it was like, all right, on it, you know, because, like, yeah, well, I don't want them sounding like crap either, you know, because, <laughs> like, that's why I'm there to see them. Um, it's just that kind of thing. You get to be friends with them, and they value things like that, that you're going to point out to them, like, hey, you know, do something about it. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, I, you know, I've, I mean, I've had that a million times where people come up afterwards and they'll be like, oh, you couldn't hear your vocals at all. And you're like, we just played it a couple hours. You, yeah. <laughs> you could have told me, you know, <laughs> after the third song. 
yeah so it's it's just it's just nice um it's a, it's kind of a nice feeling knowing not only are they looking at you to for your opinion of something but they also go out of their way to show any appreciation for it like um i another local artist like that he'll always be posted on facebook like about hey thanks for helping with merchandise at the show um and just things like that and just, you, you feel special because everybody sees it and knows that you helped out and they liked it and they appreciated it you know right, right. i mean i think it's like actually this too it's like getting a fan's perspective Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, this is cool. It's, it's, I, geez, I think I had this idea. I was on the beach this morning. We went surfing and I was laying down getting sun and I was like, I know what I'll do. I'm going to interview Laura Cole and get the fans perspective. (laughs) I think it's, uh, I think it's, I think it's not only, you know, I think it's really cool that you're doing it, but I I do think it's going to be, be very helpful for, uh, people in the music business because um, it seems like yeah. it's the it's the last thing that anybody has done. You know that, that they everybody in the music industry thinks they know what they're doing, and we all have no idea what we're doing. So <laughs> it's good to. Oh, it's it's also like one of those things. Like if you start like this and you start as a local artist, um, it's I actually heard um, Luke Combs talking on the Bull, and he was saying about how he still tries to stay in touch with those, all those people that were there when he started and he wasn't on the radio or anything yet, but they were all there. They were faithful listening to his music and he remembers that and he'll always remember that. And I know everybody would love to get a shout out from their favorite big time artist like me with Kenny Chesney. I would love it if he was to be like, Hey, Laura, thanks for coming to my show. I know it's not going to happen, but <laughs> you know, so I think for, as a fan of music and you get this recognition from an artist that you really love, um, it's a huge deal to people. It really is. And then if you get ignored, like I've gotten ignored before and I don't, I don't even listen to the band anymore because you know, it's just like, you know what? You're just a local cover band and now you're ignoring me and I don't want anything to do with you. Yeah. We were, we were so. talking before we started <laughs> recording and I was saying that, you know, it's happened to me where um, friends of mine, I try to, you know, share their stuff. I com- comment on their posts. And I have, you know, I have a few people that I know that are kind kind of still stuck in this, well, I'm going to be a mysterious, um, you know, I don't want to do too much, you know, marketing or social media or I want to be mysterious and, and not... I guess, interact with my friends, let alone my music fans. And so long story long, I shared some of their posts and commented on some of their music related posts and crickets. And I will never do that again for these people. And it totally turned me off. So uh, I absolutely understand exactly what you're saying. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Like, you're not Kenny Chesney, you know. If if you're an independent artist, yeah. and you're not Kenny Chesney, you're not Kenny Chesney. So you need to, in my opinion, and this is what I try to do, and this is why I consider myself a success successful independent artist because I try to treat my fans like the little diamonds that they are because they're running the whole show, you know. Um, like I always say, without the fans. It would all be rehearsal, <laughs> you know. We'd be sit- yeah. we'd be playing. Yeah, we'd be playing with ourselves. <laughs> well, it's also good to get the feedback from the fans of a show. Like actually, when I was talking to Smidge at backstage at Gloucester, Smidge, we were talking about like female artists and how sometimes like we find them kind of boring because they're so not active or they just kind of idle on stage. It's like, yeah, you got a great voice, you can play guitar, but if you're not engaging the fans during the show, then why are they going to want to go back? 
Yeah, and that's know, another whole that kind of that's another whole podcast that could go on for days is performance. And yeah. so okay, so this one show, the Gloucester Country Music Festival, it was I told told the story on on the other podcast, but it was pouring rain. I thought we were going to be canceled. There were tornado watches. I know. And who comes to the show in the rain and hides under a tree because it's raining is Laura Cole. So yeah, thank you again and for coming. Tell, I'm telling you, I question whether I would even do that for Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the ultimate compliment. Um, so it, there's a few things that I did. I'm just going to give my tips, my tips again. I don't know if I've, I've probably given them before, but my tips to musicians, um, there were, I don't know, maybe uh, at the beginning, there was 40 people there. I don't know. Um, not a lot of people there. There it, wasn't a lot. Yeah. So before we went on, after the second act, and when we were going to switch over, I went out to the small crowd that was there in this huge field, and I shook everybody's hand and thanked them for waiting in the rain. Now, these were not... Uh, you know, there were four bands playing, so they weren't all people there for me. So I just went out and thanked them because these people, like yourself, were waiting in the rain to watch live country music. Um, and I think mm -hmm. that goes a long way. And then I think that, you know, your performance itself, like you were saying, it needs to be, it's not, you know, it's not the person that can stand there and and uh, necessarily sing the perfect tune that uh, people are going to connect right. with. No, I mean, that's what me and Smidge were even saying. Like, we've seen big artists, like, you pay a lot of money to go to a concert, and you're like, what did I pay for? And they were horrible, you know? Like, so, I just no on the radio. So what, so what Laura Cole, super fan, is saying to all the musicians and artists and bands that are listening or watching this or listening on YouTube or listening, uh, <laughs> listening, listening on YouTube um, is that you should not put on a boring show. Yeah. Don't just stand there. Don't just stand there. <laughs> don't stare at your feet. We could just go home and listen engage, to it. Engage, engage. That that is the biggest turn on for me is watching any artist, no matter what kind of music it is. If I know they are absolutely loving what they are doing, I'll always go back for more. I love it. Always. I mean, yeah, I and you you know you're a huge Kenny Chesney fan as as I am, and there you go. I mean, there's a perfect example. You know, like um, bands and artists and stuff. Look at your favorite band or artist. And watch what they do and how they perform and how much how much joy they show in their in performing and and model yourself after that at least the energy and the enthusiasm. I've always said the same thing. I've always said if and I tell them, I tell my guys I'm like um, <laughs> the bass player said, "Oh, you know it's it's been raining and and and." Um, before we went on, he's like, let's make sure that these people know that we are excited to be here. And I'm like, you bet your ass we're going to show them that we're excited to be here, you know? Yeah. Because I was pumped yeah. that that people even stayed. I was expecting to play to absolutely nobody. So I'm going to go out there and set myself on fire and watch let people watch me burn, you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, um, you were going to say, I don't know. I mean, that's, yeah, that's a, the so, local artist. Definitely. You have the ability to show your fans, not only your talent, but also just, you know, even if it's just a quick thing, <laughs> so, so don't ignore them. Don't ignore them because yeah, trust me, it's not a good thing. Yeah, definitely not a good thing. 
I mean, it, se- it seems simple, but it definitely seems like a lot of people do this for whatever reason, whether it's in person or on social media. Yeah. And it seems silly to me. Why, you know, why bother even having social media if, I mean, that's what it's for. That's what it's there for. I, right. I think a lot of people think that it's just there to place advertisements for their next show instead of it's there yeah. for you to communicate and then let people know where, where you're playing, but communicate and connect. That's the whole idea. That's the whole idea behind music, right. I think. I mean, because if you don't have like your fans sharing things to their followers, I mean, because you're reaching a lot of people on social media with even a few shares of an event, you know. Um, Absolutely. But it's also like not even just like social media, just like kind of ignoring you. But it's like I actually this did have them be like just totally fine on stage and everything, but just talking to the person. Like, rude as anything is just, just, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? I'm done. I'm all done with you. Yeah. So, yeah. Who, who you are can definitely be <laughs> be a, a huge yeah. turn off. And, like, you know. Yeah, you can't. Um, but that's about it. Yeah. Just some stage presence and, yeah. <laughs> so, put on a good but, show. Uh, definitely interact with the audience get your fans involved in the show like I, you get fans involved with the show but you also even get the band members involved with the show and the fans involved with them and that's what people like i shouldn't say that because i'm speaking for everybody now but what I like. <laughs> well that's that's cool i mean that's why i wanted to talk to you because um i wanted to you're a music fan you obviously love music so i want to find out and I think we did, which is perfect. Exactly what <laughs> what you like, and I'm sure you're speaking for a lot of a lot of music fans. Like exactly what you like, and exactly what you know turns you off. Basically, you know, put a lot of effort into your into your live show, um, and be interactive. You know, it, it all kind of comes back to the same few little things. It's basically being uh, connecting. So. You know, through your performance, connect with your fans at your live shows. Mm-hmm. Then afterwards, you know, go hang out, meet them, talk to them. You know, I mean, we know you're, you know, we're friends. I mean, we're friends with your whole family. Like, we all know everything, you know, like a lot of my fans were yeah. all basically like a little family. We know everybody, you know, everybody's, you know, what's going on in everybody's life and, um, how's your mom, by the way? Mom's doing good. Just, she's actually sitting right here next to me. Oh, good, 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 good. Tell her that I said hi. Yeah. <laughs> good. Tim says hi. Hi, Tim. <laughs> she says hi. Cool. So <laughs> We're just know. watching uh, watching practice. <laughs> oh, I missed this last show. Well, hopefully I'll okay. um, see you guys soon before uh, before we head out. Um yeah, mm-hmm. so so just to recap, basically being very uh, connecting with with people, whether it's at your live show, with your live show, then on social media, connecting, reach out to people, um, and of course, definitely when they reach out to you, everybody that's listening, make sure you respond to people because then if you don't, they're gonna think that you're a jerk and they're gonna go away and they're gonna mm-hmm. like the next band or the next singer or the ne- next artist and they're they're gonna have a um you know a chip on their shoulder with with you because you ignored them on on instagram <laughs> right exactly and yep. or if you didn't or if you ignored them and then or if you didn't ignore them but you were a jerk talking to them don't do that yeah oh definitely <laughs> absolutely whether it's on social media or of course or in, in person, person. yeah like- <laughs> And that's what I try to tell people too is like the the smaller shows I've found now you have a very good chance as a musician to gain very solid fans if you're playing smaller shows or even solo bar gigs because then you get a chance to interact with people for a longer time 
um, you know, there's not as many people around and you get to, you know, create a, a, a relationship as opposed to, you know, when we're playing for a few thousand people, then it's, you know, you get to spend a few seconds with each fan and take a picture and then that's it. So um, yeah. if you're if you're at the point, I would like to give the advice to musicians, if you're at the point that you're, you know, you're playing small shows, don't be discouraged. I mean, I had a friend of mine who was like, oh, hey, you know, back when I when I first moved to Nashville and I was playing this this bar downtown, he's like, oh, I wouldn't play there. He's like, you know, you're never going to gain any fans at that place. And he's not even in the music business anymore because I always took it as every single little gig. I mean, I have some of my, you know, my best, best fans from, uh, from solo acoustic gigs. Debbie actually, that started the fan club on Facebook. I met her in Philadelphia, I believe playing at a Key West bar. It's called like, I think it was called a taste of Key West in Philadelphia. And I met her there. And that's how she started the, the fan club. So there we go. Well, thank you for um, letting me interview myself because <laughs> I've been talking the whole time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, no, this is great. And I really appreciate it. And I'm glad you, that your mom is, uh, is doing better and she's with you. That's very cool. Tell Bobby that I said hi. And um, I hope to see you guys soon. All right. All right. Excellent. Thanks again. No problem. All right.